gorgeous, gorgeous lady. And we, we're taking it off today. We are taking it off. So Tegan, say she had a long day at work today. She comes home, the last thing she wants to do is sit there and take all her makeup off. Right. So I, a really easy, short tip that you can do, I always just take any, you can take any makeup remover wipe, anything, and apply any greasy lotion. Oh, is that Noxima? No, it's the Nivea. Oh, the one. Nivea. Yeah. So like a rich, creamy, yes. greasy. Mm. Yes. Because you're going to also, once you're taking it off, you're going to be moisturizing the skin as well. Right. And you'll see how fast this comes off. Let me show you. First, I want to take off the lashes, which every yeah. girl knows. How you have to yes. do this a very yes. special way. Basically, you just want to make sure that you start from the end because if you start from the beginning, it will mess up the lash and you can't save them or reuse them. So basically, tell me if I hurt you a little bit, Tegan. So you start from the end and, because and I gently pull, yes. right? And then you'll see the outer side start peeling off and you would just want to slowly pull it off because you will damage the lash if you pull it off too fast. You just don't don't rip because you're going to also rip out your own lashes yes, if you do that. Exactly. So don't do that. How Definitely. did that feel, Tegan? Did that hurt too nope. much? And always put your lashes back in the casing because you'll lose them and always put them back Absolutely. in the casing. Absolutely. Absolutely. So let's see this magic trick. So I have my wipey with the lotion on it. Sorry, Tegan. <laughs> and then just swipe. Brittany, is there any certain direction? Because I know they say never rub it so it goes down into your pores. Exactly. I would always go up instead of going straight down. Straight put down. More, like you have a heavy hand. I would always so you're lifting up and you're coming up with it instead of so your hand's not actually on your face. Okay. How does that feel, Tegan? Does it feel like I'm putting too much pressure on your no. eye? Like I'm scrubbing too hard? It's perfect. This is wonderful. So, Brittany, after you've done this, so you've used the lotion, are you going to go and then also use a cleanser or is it clean? I would actually always use a cleanser just because if you have any leftover foundation yes. on or concealer, I would use probably not so much uh, acid, but maybe just a normal face wash and then always moisturizer at the end. Always. Always. Because always, always, always. That will prevent a lot. And you see how much like... And That's can, incredible how much has come off. And I've only used one thing. One towel. Look up for me. That is really and, the same and like you thing. said, your your moisturizing as you're going along. Exactly. Doing this. So because you're gonna wash all the makeup off and then you'll rinse your wash your face after. So that's incredible. Double moisturizer, you will dry out your face. That is incredible. So we have her makeup off. We're pretending we have her makeup off, and she's had a really long day. Her hair, okay. she's been out in the sun. Her hair is dry. Christopher Styles, get on in here. Hi, Sherry. Because this is this is living my nightmare. Okay. Dude, I've been out and my hair's dry, dry and I can't. I gotta look. It's gotta look sexy in the morning, Christopher. Exactly, <laughs> sexy, sexy hair. You know, um, Brittany and I were talking. And we're kind of thinking about this storyline. You're coming home from work. You've been at the beach. You have dry hair, and nothing better than you know, save some money. Yeah. And use something that you have at home. And always. Always. Yeah. And it's coconut oil. You know, it comes in a like cream paste. Yes. Yeah. So you can put it in as a cream paste or you can put it in a microwave. And that's actually what I did. Yeah. So Sherry and I right now, we're actually going to put the um, coconut oil in Tegan's hair. Wow. So Sherry, I have a little right here if you can help Thank me. Thank you. I sure can. You're going to take and a Tegan's piece. And Tegan's such a good sport. It's avocado and it's like coconut oil and... <laughs> but Sherry, let's be honest. Coconut oil is so good for oh. you. You can eat oh, it. Oh, it smells so good too. It's delicious. You can it is... eat it. You can put it on your skin, put it on your hair. Actually, do you know what? Christopher, I use a lot of coconut oil in cooking. Oh, do you? Yeah, I do. Here, Brittany, I have really, some. really oh, do. Oh, thank you. Now, Brittany, could we use that Look as a makeup that is remover? Amazing. Actually, yes, you can. I just don't know so much around the eye area. Right. Some people might have sensitive eyes. Okay, so Brittany, just you know, confirm viewers. You, you know, keep it away from the eyes, but you could definitely use coconut oil as a treatment. I or I use it on my eyes. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, yeah. And you know what's so incredible about this? It smells so good. Yeah. It smells delicious. So good. You know, and there's a, gr there's a great article right now called about spooning. I think it's called spooning. And it's basically people um, taking coconut oil and putting it in their mouth in the morning time, yeah. swishing it around for 20 minutes, I guess, and it's supposed to remove the impurities. Wow. I don't know. Doctors out there might argue otherwise, but there is a movement. Wow. How interesting is that? It's kind of crazy, right? You yeah, didn't know that. We'd have to read up on that one too. So I heard him say spooning too and got all excited until I got like, <laughs> So Sherry, you know, we're we're tired. We just got home yeah. from work. We put our treatment in, we've removed our makeup. Yep. That kind of stuff. So right now what I'm gonna do, um, go curvy and Sherry and Brittany is I'm gonna do a fishtail braid. <gasps> love it! That's my favorite thing. That is I your love favorite thing. A fishtail 
fishtail braid. Sherry has been asking me to do a fishtail braid since the beginning I of I, we've been shooting. So 15, is it 15 episodes now? Yes, mm -hmm. this is our 14th. And, and you know what, one day, Soon, you and I are gonna have a fishtail braid off. Cause Ooh. I can do a pretty darn good fishtail. Don't braid. make me nervous right before I start, Sherry. <laughs> so, go curvy viewers. You're just the go. The fishtail braid is so simple. It's just basically. I don't know if you can see this, but it's basically two pieces of hair that are traveling it down. Yep. And you're just wrapping it around the hair strand. Now, when you're doing it on the runway and for editorial looks, fashiony looks, the smaller the um, braid or the smaller the weave, yes. the more technical kind of like high fashion. But if you just want to do girl next door, just do a very loose braid. Yep. Um, so for the sake of um, time, I'm going to just kind of uh, go to hustle go through. To. Yep. But let's talk some Oscar hair. Let's talk some, yeah. Oscar hair favorite? and Oscar makeup. Who was your favorite? You know, that's, I, I think Lupita is just so beautiful right now. She had that very natural kind of hair yeah. and this beautiful, um, what was that? She had a little um, tiara oh, or yeah, something. A little, it was like a little headband. Was now, that not pretty? Now, didn't we do that not too long ago on Go Curvy? Who did it first? <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I really liked it. I thought all everyone looked really beautiful. Brittany, what did you think about makeup at, um, on the Oscars? I was unfortunately sick. Oh, and I didn't get a chance to watch the Oscars. No, I was sick all weekend Poor in Poor sweetheart. I know, but Poor I will definitely sweetheart. Google it and get back to you, Christopher. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Sherry, how about you? There was so many good hairstyles. Are you telling it or what? It was so oh, amazing. It. Wasn't it, it was so, so positive good. this year? I think that's such an important thing. And Ellen DeGeneres, I must say. Oh, was she not incredible? I love Ellen. And she's able to go ab above and beyond and touch on yeah. many levels of uh, society. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Brittany, scoot in here really quick because I want people to look at your eyebrows. Okay. Can you so, see them? <laughs> Pinky has gone total pinky. Mm -hmm. Tell us what you did here. Well, I didn't actually dye them yet. I was testing them out. But so I'll draw them on with a bright pink pencil and then I'll shade them in with black and then blend them two together with an eyebrow brush and then put a pink eyeshadow to seal it. So they last all day. Is that not incredible? Look at those <laughs> pink, pink eyebrows. Pink Sherry, eyebrows. would you do that, pink eyebrows? We can do Maybe it for a day. Go, yeah, for a day. Yeah, for a day. Yeah. yeah, let's Maybe do I'll it. match them to my clothes. Yes. Oh, St. Patrick's Day. Okay, we'll do it. All right, <laughs> we'll do it. For sure. Only if you do. I'll do it. Okay, I have no problem, sure. girlfriend. I'll let's wear makeup. <laughs> Sorry, Dad.